Hi, I'm Brian Hayes, a Salesforce and Pardot consultant with Rotive. We're an official partner with Salesforce and we help small businesses automate their processes. In this video, we're gonna look at transferring accounts and contacts and talk about some of the options if you wanna transfer ownership of those accounts. So we're in Salesforce. First thing to look at is to go into the setup menu. So if you click on setup in the upper right hand corner, and then look on the left hand side, we have a sub menu here called data. Under data, there's a tool called mass transfer records. This is the place to start. This is the easiest option that we've got available to us. And then we've got transfer accounts. And there's a bunch of other records in the system that we could potentially transfer as well. And we're talking about transferring ownership. So taking them from one uh, user to another user. One thing that's definitely missing here though is the ability to transfer contacts. So because contacts should always be underneath an account, uh, the only tool we've got is to actually transfer those accounts and have the contacts come along with the account. So if we come into transfer accounts, you can choose who owns the account currently and who you want to have own the account. And then you can also choose to transfer open opportunities, closed opportunities, closed cases, open cases. Um, and you can even filter it down beyond that. We can say we only want the accounts owned by user A in a specific city or state or any other field value we've got on that account record. Now, when you hit transfer, it's gonna bring the contacts along with it that are owned by the current owner. So if we have an account that's owned by David Rose and there's five contacts within that account, if four of those contacts are also owned by David Rose, they're gonna transfer to the new owner. The tricky thing though is that fifth contact. If that's owned by somebody else in the organization, that's not gonna get transferred over. Um, the reason for that is because perhaps that fifth contact is a, is a billing contact and maybe it's your accounts receivables person who actually owns that particular relationship. Um, unfortunately, we don't have the ability to override that and say transfer everybody. So in those edge cases, we have to look at an alternative for transferring them. Um, and that would typically be through either using Salesforce Flow to automate that process or with an upload, you know, a CSV upload to change the owner of those lingering contacts to the account owner. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. If you'd like more videos on Salesforce and Pardot automation tips, please click subscribe. Thanks for watching.